Hey vlog, welcome to Friday. It is August 12th and it's the fifth day of orientation. So today we're gonna have some more training, uh, a class on data science, actually it's a new course this year. And after that, a pizza party where we're gonna order from two different places, see which one we like better, and then that place will be the sponsor for, or we'll buy from them for the next like pizza event. So Wednesday and Thursday, basically, uh, I didn't film because so it was basically the same thing as Monday and Tuesday, but Thursday was actually a really special day. It was our first day of anatomy lab. If you don't want to hear about cadavers or you know dissections, then you can skip this part. But it was a really interesting experience. I thought I would be more nervous um, than I actually was. They showed us like the lab on video before, which sort of like helps us get familiar and we also did have second year students helping us. I think that the mindset of treating cadavers with respect because these these are humans who donated their bodies for science and for our learning. So I am very grateful for our donor and all of the donors and really just approaching it with an attitude of gratitude and respect and humility is really important. We were skinning which is basically taking off the skin so that then we can look at the muscles and the nerves and then the internal uh, parts of the cadaver. One thing that I really liked is we are working in teams. So it's not like one person has to do everything. Um, we all work on a part and then we can all sort of discuss. And then we can also learn from other anatomy tables. So it's not just like one group at once. It's like a bunch of groups at once. Before walking around and looking, I thought that our cadaver was sort of like, okay, every, everyone looks like this. But actually, if you go around, there are different amounts of um, like subcutaneous fat. There are different pathologies also. You realize that there's such great variation and variety in the human body and anatomy, even though, you know, generally it's the same, right? So that was really interesting to learn about. Our second year student was actually in the dental program and I asked them why dental students also take anatomy and I think it's like a Columbia specific program thing. So if you're interested in dental school, take a look at the curriculums of different schools and see which one you prefer. So I'm gonna head to uh, training now. I'll see you guys later. Three hours later. It's a pizza party. Today for lunch, we were lucky enough to get pizza, as I mentioned before. We basically gathered in the vec and then we ate outside because it was a nice day out. We are now judging our Broadway versus other store pizza. I don't remember what it was. Preferences? Other store. Other store wins. <laughs> We, okay, I'm gonna summarize what we did today. So today we had our data science class and we are actually the first year that is having this data science class where we're gonna be getting an intro to R, the language. Um, I don't have experience in CS. I think most of the class though, like has some sort of background because they took stats or they used like R in their research. So it should be a good learning opportunity. I mean, it's pass fail, so less pressure. And I think it will be a good way to get introduced into like statistics and like graphing and actually understanding data on like an epidemiological scale, which is always helpful. We have a bunch of TAs. It kind of feels like an, an undergraduate course in that way that there's like, you know, students, professors, and then a bunch of TAs and office hours, of course. And then afterwards we had our pizza. I vote for Fresco. That was the name of the other pizza place that we forgot because I'm more of like a thin crust, crispy sauce, like an extra sauce type of girl. Some people who liked cheese more than sauce like the Broadway place, but you know, personal preference. So we just voted on a form that was sent out and we'll see, you know, what the palette of our class is like. Afterwards, we had an oath workshop. So you know how physicians and like medical students take the Hippocratic Oath? So that was written like a long, long time ago. And so this year is the second year that they're having students from the class write the oath, modernizing it or making it more relevant to society nowadays. The uh, oath committee was what's made up of M1s or incoming M1s. So much nuance, I think it definitely took a lot of time. So yeah, thank you to the oath committee. I'm going to be heading over to the VEC again because there is an APAMSA meeting at 4 p.m. They're gonna offer us free food, which is always good. You know in undergrad sometimes it's like you are in lecture, you take down notes and you sort of learn it afterwards. So here it's really fast, so you have to learn it 
write and lecture. I want to like make sure I'm learning the most efficient way possible and I think that going to lecture will help me focus in because I know that if I watch it at 1.5x speed, I might miss something, I have to go back, and then it will take longer than if I actually went to lecture. Usually, I think people continue going to lecture up until the first exam, right? And then afterwards, you can keep going to lecture, or if you figure out another, another more efficient way for yourself to study, that could also work like, if you wanna watch it on your own. It's like encouraged for you to go, go to lecture, but it's not mandatory. Some schools might have mandatory lectures, so it all depends. Um, I hope that was helpful information, and yeah, I think this will be the end of the vlog. Okay, it is around 8.39 now. I went to the gym after the APAMSA meeting. I want to show you guys what the VEC looks like. This is the 14th floor. It's so gorgeous. Okay, it looks more gorgeous in person. Ah! Oh, there you go. So, this is our view from the study lounge. And let me show you this one. We can literally see the main New York skyline. And then if you keep going, uh, like a study room in here, where students can study and look at this view. Oh my God. So gorgeous. It's Friday night now. First week is complete. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. But as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or want to see anything. Um, and I will catch you in the next vlog. Bye. Thanks for making it to the end of the vlog. If you did, comment down below what your favorite type of pizza is. Are you a thin crust or thick crust person? New York or Chicago? And uh, yeah, also thank you guys for your board game recommendations from last time. I will check those out. I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.